Welcome to the Car Seat Lady videos. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install the forward-facing Diono or Sunshine Kids car seats. This video applies to all Diono and Sunshine Kids Radians, all versions, as well as the Diono Pacifica, Rainier, and Olympia. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my tether strap. The tether is stored in the back of the car seat. I've already unhooked it. In this car, the headrest was removable for the center seat. I removed it to make it easier for me to install the car seat, as well as get the tether connected. So I'm connecting my tether, but I'm going to leave it loose. We'll tighten it at the very end. Next, I'm going to pass the seatbelt through the forward-facing belt path, which is behind the child's back. So I'm going to take the seatbelt. If you notice, there's a Velcro slit here to allow you to get your hand in more easily. I'm going to pass the belt behind the child's back, and I'm going to buckle it in. Now, you and I ride around with our seatbelt loose while we drive, and then we rely on it to lock when you slam on the brakes. That works well for you and me, but not for the car seat, because that's what the car seat looks like, and that's not safe. The good news is there's a locking feature built right into the seatbelt just to keep your child's car seat tight. The way you're going to engage that locking feature is you have to pull the belt out to the very end. Do it slowly. As you let it back in, hear that ratcheting sound? That's the belt getting tighter. In some vehicles, the ratcheting sound is really soft and quiet, and you might not be able to hear it. You can always double check it's in the locking mode by giving a very gentle pull towards you, and you should feel no slack coming back. Once you've done this, you can just let the belt go. Now, I need to pull the belt tight. So, I'm going to put a knee in the seat. I'm going to grab the shoulder belt, which is the top belt. I'm going to grab it through this slit in the fabric. I'm going to pull upwards on the shoulder belt so that the lap portion, which is the bottom belt, is going to get tight. As I'm doing this, I'm going to wiggle the seat side to side with my body weight and pull. This bicep and this hand are holding really tight. It's like tug of war. Don't let go of the tension until I take my other hand and feed the slack all the way back into where the shoulder belt comes out of. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to pull upwards, wiggle, and feed the slack back, just like so. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if the seat is tight. I'm going to hold it near the belt path, I'm going to pull towards me and away from me, and I'm checking that it slides less than an inch side to side. That feels really tight. Now the very last thing is to tighten up the tether strap. Take the tail and pull as hard as you can towards the back of the car. The tether is what keeps the child's brain and spinal cord as safe as possible, so make sure that it's really tight. I want to show you one thing that you might encounter in your car uh, that might lead you to have a looser installation and show you a trick to getting it tight. In some vehicles, the buckle is fairly long. This car seat prefers when the buckle is as short as possible. When the buckle is long, like it is right now, if I buckle my seatbelt, I pull it all the way out to lock it, and I let it back in, and I grab the same shoulder belt up top and pull to tighten. I'm not able to get it as tight as I want, and you can see that the hardware of the seatbelt is trying to come up into the belt path, but it can't. And when I check to see if my car seat is tight, it's not. It moves more than an inch side to side. So let me show you the trick. What you're going to do let the belt back in. You're going to take the buckle and you're going to twist it down. You're allowed to do up to three full revolutions. This was just one revolution in this car. I'm going to pass my belt through the same way. Buckle it in. Again, pull the shoulder belt all the way out to lock it. Again, pull the shoulder belt, which is the top belt, as tight as I can wiggle, and then feed all the slack back. And now when I check, the seat is nice and tight. 
So that's just one thing you might encounter in your car. First try with the buckle untwisted and only twisted if need be.